Hey everyone, today we're going to take a quick look at Sonic the Hedgehog, directed by Jeff Fowler and starring Jim Carrey, James Marston, and the voice of Ben Schwartz. Our story begins with a young Sonic, a weird little blue alien hedgehog thing, falling through a dimensional portal into our world. And he manages to stay hidden for a while, but one day he is accidentally discovered by Tom Wachowski, the sheriff of Green Hills, Wisconsin. Get it? And the very strange Dr. Robotnik, who wants to use Sonic for secret evil government experiments. And so Tom and Sonic embark on a road trip to find Sonic's missing rings so he can escape this mad scientist. So if you will allow me to state the friggin' obvious for a second here, video game adaptations do not exactly have the best track record. So I was not expecting much from this, even after the redesign of Sonic, which was an improvement. And now that I've actually seen the movie, it didn't suck. And really, that's about all I can hope for from a video game adaptation. It doesn't suck. It's fine. The story is pretty basic. It's a dude and his weird CGI companion on a road trip, which is apparently a trope somehow. I don't know how the hell that happened, but here we are. Even James Marston himself has done this before, which is weird. There's nothing necessarily wrong with the story, except that it's just very basic. Most of the story is just Sonic and Tom running the hell away from Dr. Robotnik, and that's pretty much it. There is this thing with Tom wanting to move out of Wisconsin into a bigger city because he thinks in a big city he can do more good than he can in a small town, but in terms of the plot, it's pretty inconsequential. Based on the audience in my theater, most of the humor works pretty well if you're under the age of 12. Otherwise, your mileage may vary. I had a few chuckles here and there. It wasn't terrible. The visual effects are very well done, and what the VFX artists went through with this movie was total bullshit. Because, yeah, the original Sonic design sucked, but they were just trying to fulfill the director's vision. That's not their fault, that's his. The action sequences are easily the best part of the movie. They are a lot of fun to watch and are pretty well done. They do have a couple of moments where it looks like Sonic is moving at normal speed while everything around him is moving in slow motion, kind of similar to what they did with Quicksilver in the X-Men movies. And those moments probably would have had a much bigger impact on me if I hadn't already seen them do it with Quicksilver in the X-Men movies. It's not that they were done badly, not at all. They were done very well. They've just been done before. For the most part, the acting is fine. There aren't really any standouts, except for Jim Carrey. His performance is a lot. He doesn't just chew the scenery. No, no, no. He swallows it whole. And whether this is a good thing or a bad thing is pretty much going to come down to personal taste. I thought he was exactly what this movie needed him to be. And what it needed him to be was Mad Scientist Ace Ventura. And for the most part, I didn't mind him. I thought he was fine. He got a laugh or two out of me. But there were a couple of moments where he was a bit much. There's this one scene where he is, like, waiting for his computer to process something. And since he has nothing better to do, he just kind of dances around like an idiot. And it seemed like there was nothing written in that part of the script. The director basically just pointed the camera at him and told him to go nuts for two minutes. And he did. To be fair, he is quite good at that. I did like how Sonic nicknamed Dr. Robotnik Eggman. That was a nice touch. Uh, did like the little jazz piano rendition of the Sonic the Hedgehog theme towards the end of the movie. That was pretty cool. Uh, really the only highlight of the soundtrack, though. And there is one more thing I do want to mention. The product placement for Olive Garden in this movie was shameless. Oh my god, and they did it twice! Jesus, I mean, that just blew me away. That was, oh, I, I guess if you're gonna sell out, go hard or go home, and boy, they went hard. So, how am I gonna call this one? As a video game adaptation, it's one of the better ones, which is a low bar, I know, but still, it is. As a kid's movie, it's perfectly fine. The kids in my theater were loving it. And if you want to keep the little ones entertained for 90 minutes, you could certainly do a lot worse. If you're a grown-ass adult who grew up with the Sonic the Hedgehog games, this may not do all that much for you. Yes, it's Sonic on the big screen, but that's 
really all it is. I wouldn't necessarily say avoid this one, but I will say wait for rental. But if you do go see it, don't leave right away because A, the credits are actually pretty well done, and B, there is a mid credit scene that hints at a possible sequel. And that's all I got to say about Sonic the Hedgehog. Till next time, take care.